is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with another video. We're going to talk about A. Wiggins, a guy that has been clutch two out of the three games that they have played. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are 3-0, and which a lot of people don't have the Minnesota Timberwolves making it to the playoffs. And to be honest and truthfully, I do not either. But what I will say is this is a Wiggins that has been missing. Andrew Wiggins, to me, shows superstar potential as a rookie. He didn't put up the biggest numbers, the craziest numbers, but he showed that he can create his own shot. He had the athleticism and the speed to play the position. He showed that he had a little bit of a confidence in the jump shot. Not really a great three-point shooter still, but we were judging him based off his rookie season. A season where he ran away with the rookie of the year. Not only that, this is a guy that has also won the Rising Star Challenge and was the MVP of that game. So when you're having that type of momentum, your numbers starting to go up as the season go on, and your confidence is rising because you're starting to figure it out and things are happening and you know what you can and you can't do at this point because half the season is basically over. But I thought it was very important to because I made a lot of breakdowns about Andrew Wiggins. I thought it was very important to say I'm, I'm happy with him right now. He's not averaging the craziest points. He's not dominating games, but he's aggressive. And I think that's something that Andrew Wiggins hasn't been in a long time. And he settled or disappeared way too much. And for him to be a number one overall pick and for him to show that he had potential to be one of the best players in the world and he had the physical and mental aspects to do it, it was just about panning out a lot of his holes, getting a little bit more of a consistent jump shot and getting a three ball. Now, none of those things have happened, but I like the fact that he's taking over in fourth quarters. I'm, I like the fact that Ryan Saunders believe in this guy and it has encouraged him to be aggressive. Andrew Wiggins, we need you. Andrew Wiggins, if we're going to win, we need you to be a huge part of that. And he's still not a great defender either, but I just like the fact that they actually still instill in confidence inside of Andrew Wiggins. And the only reason why I say it like that is because they're giving him the ball. They're putting him in spots where he's comfortable, where he knows how to do his work, and he knows how to get to the shots that he wants to knock down. And that's very important. And a coach is supposed to put you in spots where your strengths is at so that he can get the maximum out of you. But Andrew Wiggins is a guy that can get to the basket. He has a floater game. He can spin move and do the fadeaway. He has a push shot. So he had moves, and it was working. That's why he had rookie of the year and averaged 20 points per game um, in, in a couple seasons. And I really wanted to know, what really happened to Andrew Wiggins? And I think it's very important to say it like that because he has completely fell off. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought he would just continue to get better. I thought that he would continue to put in the work. The game would come more easier to him because he, he knows the teams. He knows how they want to guard him. And he knows what he has to work on in the offseason. But those things didn't happen. And his career has been stagnant. It has been stuck in a position where he has become a disappointment in the laughing stock because of the contract that he signed and the belief that they felt Andrew Wiggins could take another step. And who didn't? Like, I don't really know too many people that was anti-Wiggins. A lot of people thought he was the number one pick, and a lot of people looked at his potential and his body and his speed and his athleticism and said he can get better. He can be one of the best players if he puts in that work. And we just never saw it. But Towns have has eclipsed him as the best player on the Wolves. He has become a versatile player. He has become a dominant player when he wants to take over and when he knocked down shots. The thing about it is he needs help. Towns can't do it all. Nobody in the league can do that. You know, you need help and you need players that can create. You need players that can help out other teammates perform to their best abilities. And when you have a guy like Towns that can go out there and wreck and destroy anybody in his path, it's a beautiful thing to have a player like that on your team. But it's also 
an easy way for him to get beat up and toe up by injuries because he has to do so much and he's relied so much for the offense. And they've been using Towns a lot better. They've been getting him in a lot of areas where he can make the moves he wants to make and still make his teammates better by leading them with good passes. But at the same time, I want to see how this dynamic works out as now Wiggins seems like he has the green light. He can take the shots that he wants to take. And he has the confidence right now and the people riding him letting up. Wiggins, just be you. Do you. Do it make you. Well, you was the number one pick for a reason. You was the guy that everybody wanted on their team. You was the guy that Minnesota was willing to trade. Kevin Love, a superstar for a guy like you. What happened? And I think that's one of the most confusing things because we don't know what happened. Was it the fact that they drafted Towns and he was better? Was it the fact that they kept trading and got Jimmy Butler, and Jimmy Butler passed him up, and he had to settle. But when Jimmy Butler was traded, they thought it was him and Wiggins. And if that's the case, Jimmy Butler is gone. And Wiggins did not have a good, strong season after he got traded. And we would think that Andrew Wiggins would come out here and obliterate people and show people what they was missing and why that him and Jimmy Butler wasn't getting where they needed to go. But at the same time, that didn't happen. Wiggins disappeared the rest of the season, and so did the Minnesota Timberwolves season because they got nowhere after Jimmy Butler left. And it's crazy because that's the that's the type of environment and that's the type of thing you want to happen. You want to be able to prove people wrong. You want to be able to go out there and do your thing. Now that Jimmy Butler is gone, you don't have to worry about him airing you out. You don't have to worry about him putting you on blast, saying that you don't have a work ethic and you're not the guy. And Wiggins had all that coming into the NBA. He had that for the first three seasons, and all of a sudden, these last two years, he just disappeared. And it's crazy that it happened, but I never really gave up on Wiggins. I really just wanted to understand what's going on. Why have you become so passive? Why have you become so distant from the team? Why have you disappeared time and time again when your team needs you, and they're paying you, and they traded for you? And they felt like you was one of the foundation pieces of the future of the Minnesota Timberwolves. What happened? And I really want to know. But I will say, as a person that believed Andrew Wiggins was the, was the rookie of the year, I felt like he should win it. I felt like he could be on a superstar pathway if he continued to work hard and do what he was supposed to do. But I also am one of the people that's in utter shock that Andrew Wiggins has been such a disappointment after the contract extension in the Jimmy Butler trade. But I still, as a guy that you guys know, I want to see Wiggins do well. I don't want him to fall off. I don't want him to be out of the league. The guy has so much talent and so much upside, and he's only 24 years old, guys. It's not like he's 28, 30, and now he's you know, having a midlife crisis. This is a guy that's not even 25 until February. So he still has the talent and everything still. I just want to see him figure it out and go back to the Wiggins that was just out there doing whatever he wanted to, whoever was guarding, going at LeBron, going at KD, going out there, going for 30 and 40. And now all of a sudden, you'll be happy if he got 15. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, you know, that's how low it has felt you know, as a person that wanted to see Wiggins do well. But that's how it goes sometimes. And, we don't really know what happened to Wiggins. It's a, it, he disappeared. But it is good to see that Ryan Saunders is still belief and is still hope that Wiggins could still be a difference maker and a guy that can literally be one of the best scorers in the league. Will he ever be a superstar? Will he ever be an all-star? I don't see it anymore. But that doesn't mean he can't be a quality and productive starter in the league. That is pretty disappointing as a number one pick and having a rookie in the sophomore season that he had. But at the same time, that's where his career is right now. And even the games that he has closed for them, these last out of th two out of three games, I still look at A. Wiggins and I'm like, mm, I want to see a little bit more. I want to see you more. And he's taking more shots, but he still don't have the shot creation ability to knock those shots down when he gets the room and gets to space. But it's a work in progress. It's a learning experience. And hopefully Andrew Wiggins can figure it out before this contract ends and see itself bouncing around as a journeyman before he's even 32, 33. That's what I don't want to see. 
but it looks like it could possibly happen if he continues to play the way he has the last two years. So hopefully this is a new beginning, a new start, and a new direction for Andrew Wiggins and the Minnesota Timberwolves. I like the way Towns has come out. I like the way Wiggins is closing games, but I want to see more because it's 80 games still to go. Now it's 79 for them, and I want to see Wiggins be a big part of why they're winning and a big part of why they're on top. I don't want to see him as a big disappointment, a guy that's helping them fail and making Towns get out of there. I like seeing the NBA have talent all across the league, and that's this is where we are right now with the NBA. But at the same time, I expect Murata Wiggins, and I want him to push himself, and I want him to live up to that potential, at least somewhat of that potential. And if he does, his, his, his career might not be a bust. Because it's hard to call him a bust for the things he has done, but it's also we thought he would be a lot more than what he is. We thought he would be a superstar player. That's what you're drafting at number one. That's a franchise cornerstone. One of the guys that you want to build your blocks and your building and your whole um, arena. But he hasn't lived up to that so far. Maybe he can get it this year. Maybe he can get back to it next year. Hopefully he figures it out before it's too late. But let me know what you guys think. I read every comment. Do you think Wiggins' career is over? Do you think he's a bust? Do you think he can figure it out? Do you think that eventually the shot's going to fall? And he can become back a 20-point scorer and become what we thought he could be? Or do you think them days is over? He can be a star at best or a starter at best and nothing more. Whatever you feel, let me know in the comment section below. I read every comment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the video. Like the video. And also, Quinn Away Basketball Analysis. I'm gone. Like this video. Check out my older videos on my channel. I have many playlists. I break down rookies. I break down players. I break down summer league players. I do cover the draft, and I got a mock draft up already. Not only that, I do podcasts, and I also talk about the game of basketball, whether it comes to summer league, free agency, trade deadline, buyouts, and also I cover top 10 discussions and stuff like that. So you like this type of video, you like the NBA, check out my older videos and my playlists. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. I'm good.